In today's video, I will teach you how to add a smoke effect in Photo P. Let's get started. First, go to Photo P, then open the image that you want to edit by clicking File, then Open. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer button at the bottom to create a new layer. This will be where the smoke effect is applied. Now, select the brush tool from the toolbar on the left side. If you have a custom smoke brush, load it by clicking on the brush preview in the top toolbar and choose Load to import your brush. If you don't have a custom smoke brush, you can use the default brushes, though it is recommended to use a specialized smoke brush for a more realistic effect. Now we're going to adjust the brush settings. Adjust the size of the brush using the slider in the top bar, depending on how large you want the smoke to be. Now lower the opacity of the brush to around 30 to 50% to create a more subtle smoke effect. Now click on the color swatch in the toolbar, then choose a light gray color for the smoke. On your new layer, start clicking or brushing to add the smoke effect where you want it. Then use multiple clicks in different areas to build up the effect gradually. If the smoke is too intense in some areas, select the eraser tool and gently erase parts of the smoke to soften it. You can also lower the opacity of the smoke layer itself to blend it more naturally into the image. An optional step is adding a Gaussian Blur. For a softer effect, simply go to Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur and apply a slight blur to the smoke layer to make it look more diffuse. If needed, use the Move tool or simply press V on your keyboard to reposition the smoke. Or use Ctrl T for free transform to resize or rotate the smoke layer. And once you're satisfied with the smoke effect, save your image by going to File, then Export As, then choose your preferred format, for example, PNG or JPEG, then adjust the settings if needed. And that's it! You've successfully added a smoke effect to your image in Photo P. Experiment with different brushes, opacities, and blending modes to achieve the perfect look. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.